So, question number 11, you might as well play this. Um, whatever happens, you go home with that 32,000, but this is for 64,000, and you are five away from a possible one million pounds. At this point, you can't lose any money at all. You've got 32,000 guaranteed. Have a look at question number 11 of a possible 15. Here it is. Which of these is not a plant? Old man's beard, lady's slipper, maiden's breath, mother-in-law's tongue. Mm. Which ones isn't it? Well, it's not mother-in-law's tongue. I haven't got a clue. Old man's not beard, lady's slipper, maiden's breath. Mother-in-law's tongue, it's worth 64,000. I really haven't got a clue, so... I've got nothing to lose, so I'll have a guess. But which one? <laughs> Is it well, sheer guess. Old man's beard. Final answer. Final answer, as good as any other. You came here knowing you'd go home with £32,000. Malcolm, you're going home with £32,000. It's the wrong answer. I'm going to close. Maiden's breath. Maiden's breath. Mm. They all sound frightening. <laughs> Old man's yeah. beard, lady's slipper, mm. mother-in-law's tongue are all plants. Maiden's breath is not a plant. Oh. Oh, oh, Malcolm. Hey, still, whatever happens, you still get home with that. You can sort out between uh, <laughs> Danny and that. <laughs> Quite what they get out of it. Serious chat. They give him a big hand. Malcolm goes back to Chiswick. Thirty-two thousand pounds better off. You've been a real great pleasure to meet. Thank you, mate. Well played. Thank you. With 32,000 pounds. Now we've got 10 brand new contestants waiting to play for a million pounds. They are Stuart Crawford from Bristol, Jason Ball from West Sussex, Janice Minot from Kent, Phil Freakley from West Midlands, Mike Tankard from the Isle of Wight, Colin Fry from East Sussex, Nick Everest from West Glamorgan, Sue Coles from Devon. John Taylor from Kent and Charles Walton from Leicestershire. Right, here we go. Fast finger first. Whoever puts the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time is next to play for a possible £1 million. Audience, keep it zipped, please, so they can concentrate. Fastest finger first. Here comes the question. Starting with the furthest north, put these Atlantic Island groups in order, going south. So four groups of Atlantic islands from the north down to the south. Here they are. Canaries, Faroes, Falklands, Azores. Right, let's have a look then. Starting with the furthest north, four Atlantic islands. Uh, fairly obviously farthest up, the Faroes. Now, coming down, the Azores is then north of the Canaries and then the most southerly of the lot, of course, right down in the bottom of the Atlantic, the Falklands. That's the right order. Now, we had ten started. How many got it right? Let's see out of ten. Only one! Charles Walton in 6.75 seconds! <laughs> now, it's the yeah. You ready for this? I'll go, for it. Good. I'll go for it. Yeah, that's good. Uh, this is Charles Walton, a freelance copywriter from Market Harbour in Leicestershire. Up in the audience, his wife Deb, and watching at home are the kids George and Alice. Charles is taking being on the hot seat very seriously. Last night, he devised a spreadsheet on his computer. Listen to this. Phoned nine friends <laughs> and asked them to list what they knew. <laughs> Once he completed the spreadsheet, he made his final selection of chosen phoner friends for today. Serious stuff. If Charles wins big money tonight, and he might, uh, Deb wants a dishwasher, 
But because their kitchen is so small, what she really means is that they'll have to have their entire kitchen extended and refurbished to accommodate the new giant dishwasher. <laughs> so no pressure then, Charles. No, no, no. Well, your sister said she's um, your sister said she's concerned about what you might wear on the show. First thing she asked when I said I was on the show, what are you going to wear? And what did you tell her? Are you going to use I that? I hadn't even thought about it. Well, you clearly didn't. <laughs> but but <laughs> oh, I'm sure I think she'll like this. No, I think she'll be impressed. <laughs> And your hobbies are unicycling. Yeah. One of your main hobbies? Yeah, I'm obsessed by it, actually. Your other great hobby is mushroom hunting. Yeah. So when... <laughs> so when you're, not, when you're not out on your unicycle, as the only person in the whole of uh, Market Harbour on the unicycle, you're out mushroom hunting. Oh, uh, well, the family enjoy that, so... Oh, the family not, come with you alone. Oh, yes, we all, all get out in the woods in the autumn. And also... One of your family says, avoid eye contact with me. No, it was a, a friend of a friend. Oh, a friend Seri of a friend. Serious um, advice was avoid, avoid eye contact. I think she thinks she's going to put hex on me or something or, or put us off. So the people that do well, their heads down like that, they're staring at the screen. As soon as they look up, they're finished. <laughs> Not that advice. Are you sure you're on the right show? <laughs> 15 questions, £1 million, pounds, three brand new lifelines, one unicycle, 50 50, phone a friend. And, of course, ask the audience. OK, lots of luck, Charles. Thank you. Let's hope you go home with lots of money. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So, Charles, question number one for £100. Here it is. Which of these is an informal term for intelligence? Grey matter. Black stuff. White medium. Red substance. I think we'll go with grey matter. It's the right answer. You've got £100. <laughs> OK, question number two for £200. Here we go. Which of these is jellied in a traditional cockney dish? Eel, carp, pilchard, shark. Eel. That's the right answer. You've got £200. You've got 200 pounds, this is question number three for 300 quid, here it is. In which TV series did Trojan, Wolf and Lightning regularly appear? Panorama. <laughs> Gladiators. Brookside. The Sky at Night. Uh, we'll go with Gladiators, please. That's right, answer, you've got 300 pounds. <laughs> OK, question number four for 500 pounds, no need for any lifeline so far. This is for 500 pounds, next one's for 1,000. Have a look at this one. What would you be most likely to do in a dormitory? Sleep, eat, bathe, cook. I think I'd sleep. I think most people will sleep. It's the right answer. You've got 500 quid. <laughs> you got 500 quid. The last point at which you could go home with nothing at all, Charles. I'm sure it won't happen. This is for £1,000. Question number five. Which sport is sometimes known as the turf? Golf. Horse racing, cricket, bowls. I think I know, but I'd just like to ask the audience to be safe, if I may. OK, that's what Lifeline's for. Let's make absolutely sure we get him up to £1,000. This is the question. On your keypads, please, everybody. Which sport is sometimes known as the turf? A, B, C or D is for a guaranteed £1,000. All vote now. Uh, 72% say horse racing, um, 5% think it's cricket, 70% think it's bowls. Oh, I was going to go with horse racing, so we'll go with horse racing. Final answer? Yep. It's the right answer, you've got £1,000, well done. Uh, question number six for £2,000, have a look at it, see what you want to do. You're ten away from a possible £1 million. The country of Lilliput and its tiny inhabitants feature in which book? The Lord of the Rings, Gulliver's Travels, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, or Peter Pan? Gulliver's Travels. Final answer? Yeah, final answer. Final answer. No question. It's good. You're absolutely right to be so confident. £2,000. <laughs> Uh, 
You got £2,000, you've still got these two lifelines. Have a look at question number seven for 4000 Here it is. In November 2000, Hillary Clinton was elected as senator for which U.S. state? New Mexico, New Jersey, New Hampshire, New York. New York. Joel? <sighs> yes. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer, Charles. You've got £4,000. <laughs> And you've still got a phone a friend, you've still got 50-50. Question number eight is for £8,000. You would lose £3,000 at this point, where the money yeah. starts going up a bit steeply. But if you give me a right answer, you can double your money to £8,000. Have a look at it, you've got two lifelines. Where in the world is Botany Bay? Galapagos Islands, India, Jamaica, Australia. Australia. You been there? Nope. You could if you want enough money. Yes, we can get, keep going, I may make it, yeah. Final answer? Final answer, yes. It's the right answer. You've got £8,000. <laughs> Have a look at question number nine. It's for £16,000. You would lose £7,000 here if you gave me a wrong answer. You've got £8,000. You can walk away. You can use both lifelines and still walk away. Here it is. With which Roman is the phrase veni, vidi, vici associated? Brutus, Nero, Caligula, Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar. Sure? No, I think it relates to him conquering this country, but... Uh, yeah, I'm sure enough to go with that, yeah. You're in a bit of a devil-may-care mood, Charles. No, 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 no. I've you know, got a kitchen to get for my wife. So... <laughs> <laughs> Be a house soon. Uh, final answer. Do you see the final answer? It's the right answer. You got sixteen thousand. <laughs> I came, I saw, I conquered. He said. Have a look at question number ten. You're six away from a million with two lifelines. Mariachi bands are a musical tradition in which country? Cuba, Brazil. Mexico, Trinidad. Oh. It's all going too well, wasn't it? Yes. Take your time, have a look at it. Uh, you've got 16, you can walk away, you can use both those lifelines and still take 16,000. You would lose 15,000 if you gave me a wrong answer. Have a look. Well, I'm pretty sure it's not Trinidad. Uh, pretty Why sure not? it's not Cuba. Uh, it's just, it's, I don't associate it with, with uh, well, Trinidad, Trinidad is, uh, English speaking, it's Spanish, one of the Spanish speaking Latin American countries. I don't think it's Brazil. And it's going to be Cuba or Mexico. Um, Mexico is coming to the top of the list. I think we'd better go 50 50 there. OK, computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Charles the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Yeah, of course. Ah. The, the two you'd expect. One of those would bring you £32,000, one of those would cost you £15,000. I'm going to go with Mexico. Not Cuba? Not Cuba. Final answer. Final answer. How do you think Deb would take it if you'd lost £15,000? I think it's slit throat. <laughs> well, it's lucky you haven't, then. You just won £32,000. <laughs> you saved your own throat. Well played, Charles, and you kept that phone a friend back. Whatever happens, you go, your throat is intact. Well, for now, anyway. What a frightening woman. Um, <laughs> you're guaranteed to go home with at least that amount of money back to Market Harbour. Serious money. Have a look. Well done. £32,000. Yep. We don't want to give you that. <laughs> Question number 11 is for £64,000. Serious money. Have a look. You've got £32,000 guaranteed. You have got that one important lifeline left. Have a look. At question number 11 of a possible 15. The town of Telford is named after Thomas Telford, who's famous in which field? Poetry. Finance.